Say something, I'm giving up on you. You know, sometimes I think that people should keep their mouths shut instead of saying something. Because there are so many stupid people in the world that the more they talk, the more you just give up on them. And so, as amazing as that song is, and I am like a big supporter of that song, I listen to it like a million times, especially the Chester C version, because it is so awesome. But like like actual people and i know that's not what this song is about but actual like people in general you just run into you're like oh my gosh just don't keep talking because you just keep showing off how dumb you are and like this is this whole video ironically is just kind of like a depiction of that but as i go through life i kind of wonder if i have what you might call a stupid threshold and there's just like a certain point of stupid that i hit and i'm just like oh my gosh i can't deal with this anymore and also i'm torn between my stupid threshold where i'm completely impatient with people and completely intolerant of any kind of ridiculous things that have come into their heads and i care about people on the other hand and i'm like well i really want you to have a good life and to be happy and not to get hurt and not to uh be like destroyed by an atomic bomb and at the same time you are such an idiot like like does not compute like there's two gigantic minotaurs in my head fighting each other sorry it's a percy jackson type of week so everything is percy jackson up here and um as i do things um in life especially when I read books or watch TV or whatever, I notice that whenever there's, like, incredible amounts of stupid, like, stupid characters, it's just is such a big turnoff to me. Like, I will literally turn it off. Like, your TV show, your book, any character that is so stupid that makes me feel embarrassed. Like, I think I've already mentioned how I dislike Elf. And how he's just so dumb all the time. And you're like, dude, what makes you such an idiot? I can't stand to watch you be so dumb. And I guess maybe it's like part of my control, inner control freak. But you're just, you just want to, you just turn it off. You, you don't like it. It's not any good. Um, and same thing with like Pollyanna. Like, I know it's not necessarily, well, it was stupid. But it was just so unrealistic that I stopped reading the book after I got like 20 pages in. Well, more than that. I got maybe like a fourth in. And I was like, this is ridiculous. And I know in the end she breaks her leg and becomes all sad. But then everyone else is all happy. And you're like, that's not realistic. That is not realistic. And so I guess now there's like a three-way Minotaur battle between realism and stupidity threshold and like general well-being feelings for the success and goodness of mankind and i think that the lesson that should be learned from this maybe is that maybe we should all practice being a little bit more forgiving because especially i don't know about you but when i make a mistake i'll obsess about it for a really long time like i'll say something stupid and i'll just like I will never forget about it. And lately, I've kind of been stopping and I'll be like, you know, I could obsess about this mistake for a really long time. Or I could just be like, you know, that's what I honestly did. And I'm moving on. And just like forgiving myself. And I think that I need to extend that to my stupid threshold part of myself. And there is a point that I will like, just kind of like, avoid you. And turn you're you're turning me off in like so many ways because of your stupid threshold but there is another point where i will be forgiving and i'll be like you know this is realistic and then comes all the good stuff for the benefits of mankind let's avoid nuclear war like i don't even know where that's coming from like i'm not necessarily scared of a nuclear war happening zombie apocalypse i don't want you to die in the apocalypse so I guess that's that's the best I can come up with. Um, this is not a tutorial on how not to be stupid. This is how to tolerate stupid people. So I hope you have a great week. And that you are more forgiving both towards yourself and towards the people that you encounter. Even if they don't know nothing. And for some reason I feel like being Spock, so...
have a great day.